we had a wonderful testimonial come in our newsletter today where this person who's age 44 uh, was curious about how much money would be in their investment account now if they would have invested a different amount every year uh, than just the minimum employer match. So I'll go ahead and read the first couple sentences here. I recently tried to figure out how much I would have now at age 44 if I'd invested 20% of my salary every year in a diversified portfolio similar to what Paul recommends. I previously had invested only enough to get my employer match and sometimes not even that. So we've got a couple of assumptions I'm going to work with, but I can show you exactly what would happen uh, in this case uh, using the lifetime investment calculator. So I assume this person's aged 44, and I'm also going to assume that they started their investment uh, cycle at age 20. Okay, so their employer match started in the year 2000. I searched online and found that the median household income in the year 2000 was $42,148. Okay, I'm also assuming that the employer match was 5%. That means that uh, the employee puts in 5% and the employer puts 5%. So a total investment uh, in the year 2000 would have been 10% of that employee's salary. And so given the median household income, I'm going to multiply this by 0.1, which is 10%. And that's our starting value. So we're going to invest $4,214 in the year 2000 and see how that would have grown using the Lifetime Investment Calculator. All right, this Lifetime Investment Calculator is available on our website. If you go to paulmerriman.com, under Best Advice, you'll see Lifetime Investment Calculator. And we always recommend that you show it full screen, so that little uh, full screen box in the bottom. And I wanted to note that I have configured a little bit uh, of the calculator here to be able to demonstrate this investment horizon. Okay. Again, the story is we've got a 44-year-old. They've been investing for 24 years since the age of two, uh, since the year 2000, and they started with that 10% investment, and they grew that investment over time. So you can see the configuration here. Uh, they had zero dollars as a starting value. The first year was 2000. Duration is 24 years from 2000 through 2023. And they began their contributions in year one with that $4,214. And then they increased their contributions every year to keep, in, uh, keep up with inflation. So you can see that $4,214 in year one, and last year they would have, uh, keeping up with inflation, they would have invested $7,432. I've also gotten rid of some of the noise, so I'm just showing you the 50-50 stock and bond portfolio and the 100% stock portfolio, 0% bonds. Um, so today, that person would have somewhere between $510,000 and $316,000 in their investment account now if they were following our two-fund U.S. equity strategy. You can see the strategy drop down over on the right hand side. Um, this is our strategy that that's 50% in the S&P 500 and 50% in small cap value. Uh, and you can see that's where that's where they would be today uh, at $510,000. Okay, you can adjust any of these strategies. So if you wanted to look at see what the four fund worldwide would have accumulated uh, and other things like uh, all small cap value. I'll go ahead and switch back to table B9. And now we wanted to calculate what would those values be uh, if we had invested 20% plus the 5% employer match per year. And I'm going to assume that we're keeping up with inflation. So this, uh, we're going to remember here, just over $500,000 would be what's in that person's investment account now at 100% stocks. And that's reasonable. They probably have about another 16 to 20 years of, an, of, of letting this money grow before they reach that golden 59 and a half years old. Okay, so our $42,148, so I'll go ahead and start that again, 42148 okay? And this time we're going to multiply it by 25%, right? So we've got a 5% employer match plus the 20% that was, in, that was invested. And so in this case, we would have total investments of $10,000 in, in that very first contribution year, and we would grow that with inflation. So I'm going to change this contribution amount to $10,000. And you could see that person right now would have roughly $1.2 million in their account today if they were in a 100% stock portfolio following that strategy. Now, you know, we have no idea what's going to happen next, but let's just assume that they just let this ride over the next 20 years. And so I'm going to change the uh, to actually 
I'm going to change it. They will be at age 44 right now. They will be 59 and a half in an additional 15 years. So the duration will be 39 years. Okay, and let's assume that they keep contributing that amount over the next 39 years. And this is just a simulation, of course. Uh, you'll see that the numbers loop back. Um, we have no idea what's going to happen in the future, but for demonstration purposes, if they were to just let that ride, um, you know, that money will continue to grow year over year. Ultimately, they would be putting, uh, I guess it looks like, a $51,000 contribution keeping up with inflation um, per year if they were to, if they were to do that. And in that case, they would have over $10 million. Um, if they wanted to keep a flat rate, we could not scale this thing with uh, with inflation and just put a, an even $10,000 in every year. And that would be around $7 million, you know, uh, using this, uh, this fuzzy math uh, with a projection into the future. But you can see how that, that million dollars that, that they would have today uh, you know, will continue to grow over the next 15 years until they reach that golden retirement age. All right, hope you enjoyed. Take care.